Thank you very much for participating in this special event uh, this night. We're very grateful to you for coming out and helping us. Uh, in this year especially, a year like no other, when COVID-19 has changed the lives of practically everyone in Ireland. P particularly, it has affected the vulnerable people, and that includes our homeless population, our homeless people who are desperately looking for a home, our homeless people who put their trust in us to help them to find a home. Homelessness is not something new. Uh, it is, has worsened and it is more difficult for homeless people. But way back when I started uh, in 1983, I carried out a major piece of research in Dublin on the nature and extent of homelessness amongst women in Dublin. And we discovered there were over 500 women in Dublin, many of them hidden, but they existed. And I spent the following year with eight of those women, trying to understand their homelessness better, because I knew I couldn't really help them. I couldn't really find solutions to them unless I really understood their life. And that year was really an eye-opener for me, because they told me, as the women in the research did, what homelessness was like, the awfulness of it, the physical awfulness of not having a place to go, not having a place to wash, not having a place to leave their things, not having a door to shut behind them, and not having a, an address. But awful as that was, what they said was more awful was the way people treated them. The way people sneered at them, the way people, people laughed at them, the way people walked the other side of the street, the way people gave out to them. And, and they described how their whole sense of themselves and their sense of dignity and self-esteem was eroded on a daily basis because of the way they treated them. And that made an indelible mark on me. And I decided then, no matter what I did, I would do it in such a way that would try to restore people's pride, their self-esteem, their dignity. And at the end of that year, we started Focus Ireland. And we started out very small, but we had a very clear vision that everybody had a right to a place called home. Because the women that I had met, not one of them wanted to be homeless. They all wanted a home. And there was no such thing as a typical homeless person. They were, came from different backgrounds with different uh, ideas of what they needed, but all certainly wanted a home. So when we, that, that was our clear vision, that everybody had a right to a place called home. And the values were the values of dignity, respect, empowerment, uh, community, solidarity. They were all intended to restore people's dignity and restore their pride and their self-esteem. So we weren't about just finding homes for people. We were about working to prevent people from becoming homeless and to help them to exit homelessness. And we were going to do it in a way that would respect people and their dignity. And that's how we started. Now Focus Ireland is all over the country. We have fantastic staff and volunteers who work day in, day out to help people find a home. And last year, we helped over 15,000 people through our services. That's a startling number, but that's what we did. In 1987, the International Year for Homeless People, I predicted that we could end long-term homelessness in Ireland if we, within the following six or seven years, if we provided the housing. But unfortunately, we weren't able because successive governments have failed to provide housing year after year. And so the numbers of homeless people grew and grew and grew until today when we have nearly 9,000 people who are homeless and nearly 3,000 children. That is shameful. That is the reality we have. So it is about government policies, government action, government priorities. And Focus Ireland continues to work to really support people for their homeless, but while preventing people from becoming homeless and helping people to exit homelessness. So you are coming to help us tonight. You are helping us to shine the light on homelessness, to shine the light on what shouldn't happen at all. It is happening because the government hasn't committed to it. 
And we have made very clear to government not only the numbers of homeless, but also what needs to be done. And right now we are saying to them, you need to have a strategy for families who are homeless, a family strategy that will help families out of homelessness. You need to have a strategy for young people that will prevent them becoming homeless, but also help them not to get into the cycle of homelessness and to ex exit it quickly. And you need to build housing. You need to provide social housing. And th though they are the policies that we are asking the government to adopt. So what is needed is policies and also government having the right priorities. So we, we will continue the work we're doing, but we are enabled to do the work we're doing because of people like you who raised funds for us. Last year we raised nearly one million a euro on China Light. This year we hope to do more. And in doing that, you're helping us to tr literally transform the lives of people. And you're helping us to help people out of homelessness and to prevent people getting into homelessness. So we are really grateful to you for, for coming out tonight. And we know it isn't easy, but we know that you will, your experience will help you to reflect more on homelessness. And as you go back to your own beds after sleeping out tonight, I hope uh, that you'll carry in your heart the homeless people who have to do it every night, who haven't got a place of their own and that you'll carry it into your conversations with people into the future. And in that way, you'll continue to shine a light on homelessness. Thank you very much.